Today I have for you a review of the Okupa H01 PD Pro rechargeable hand warmer. You'll learn how effective it is for keeping you warm. You'll learn how effective it is for recharging small devices like phones. You'll also get my overall thoughts of using it for the last 12 months and if I think that it's a good purchase. So let's get into it. My name is Jason Dirks. I've been studying trees and everything that relates to them for the last 17 years. I have been hiking and camping for the last 30, as well as various other outdoor activities that pretty much keep me safe for my exploring this absolutely gorgeous country that we have. My channel is about sharing some of my tree knowledge with you to help you save your trees, as well as some of the places that I visit and the people that I meet along the way as well as equipment that I found that works both personally and professionally to just kind of help make my life a little bit easier. I'm also really glad that I have to say this next part. As an Amazon associate, I earn if you buy qualified purchases and it does not affect the price that you pay, by the way, just so you know that. I think you already do, but if you've not heard of that, it doesn't affect the price that you pay. I get a small percent. So, if you're interested in this hand warmer after I've done this review, check out the link below and it'll give you the current price. And if you wanna buy it, that would be great. I purchased this one with my own money about a year ago. So as always, I'll always give honest reviews. It has nothing to do with earning anything, but let's get to the review. The Akupa H01 PD Pro's manufacturer states that it is the toughest hand warmer ever. They say that it's IP45 water resistant, which means that it can, it can resist being sprayed from all different angles at four PSI. And with this little flap on here, I, I guess that's enough. I did not submerge, which I wouldn't recommend, but I did not test those specs out. And that it's very resistant to drops and that it's reinforced around all of the edges. And even though I didn't push it to those limits, it really does feel like I, I could see it handling that. The design is really clean and minimal with no rough protrusions, like no bumps or anything that jumps out. It's all smooth all the way around. There's only one button that operates all of its really straightforward features. If you click it twice fast like this, it shows you the battery level with two right there, each one of these will light up blue. One, two, and three. Three, which it's not, three would be the highest level, it's got a full charge. Two, which is where it's at right now, means it's got, you know, like a medium. And then that one's low. To activate the warming feature, you hold it down for just two seconds, and then the first light comes on like that. That's the first level, that's the lowest press the button one more time and then you've got the second level push it again for the third time and you've got the highest level and one thing I like is you can adjust the level you don't have to wait or you don't have to do it really quick if you have it at level two and you've been sitting there for 5 10 15 minutes and you realize you need it to go up a notch just touch it one more time and it comes back up so you don't have to go through the whole cycle every time you want to change it I think that's a neat little feature. I found that level one like that is perfect if it's right up against your hand. And if you don't have like gloves on, level one is really good. If you go to level two, it's really good for having gloves, but directly against the skin on level two, that's totally fine. In fact, going to level three is okay. but. Level two is a little aggressive and, and it's really good for getting the hands warmed up after walking around outside in freezing weather, which it takes a lot of energy for our bodies to heat back up when they get cold like that. And sometimes they can't do it quick enough. And that's when we get hyperthermia. And I've actually had hyperthermia once and, and it sucks. It's miserable and I almost died. So. I don't like to get exceptionally cold and, and it's just not fun. So what this is good for is heating my hands up really quick. I don't want to mess around. Or if I set it inside the pocket of a jacket or like say I have, you've got your like base layer 
and then you have the second layer, like maybe a long sleeve shirt with pockets. You would put this in that, and that's what I do. I put it in that pocket, and then on the outside, I'll have a jacket or like a, a wool thin mid layer. And it really, on level two, it helps warm you up quick like that. It's wonderful. It's so nice to get warmed up and not have to wait. And it's just, it's awesome. If it's really cold and uh, we really need to have gloves on. With gloves, again, level two is good. And you can just hold it like that. Just hold it with both hands. It heats on both sides. So holding it like this and then alternating and then putting the hand on the outside like this and just kind of going back and forth every few minutes because if it's really cold this side is just sitting out there in the freeze and freaking weather and then so you got that alternate it now this hand's really nice and warm and it's just it's a nice way to alternate it if you don't have gloves but we really should be wearing gloves if it starts getting that cold another way that i really love to use this is putting it in the sleeping bag so i'll crawl in the sleeping bag put this sucker on like level two maybe number three toss it down at my feet and leave it there for about five minutes and my feet get warm pretty quick at that point and then usually i can either turn it off and let the, th the sleeping bag do its job and that's it's usually enough but if it's getting really cold at night and we're maybe going a little bit below the rating of the sleeping bag, I'll turn this back on. I'll turn it to a level two, maybe a level three for just a few minutes, get my feet really nice and toasty, and then put this down to level one. Level one will last a while, and that's a nice way to just kind of help if it's just a little too nippy and maybe you've misjudged how cold it was gonna get. And it is not fun to have cold feet. This helps with that a lot. I will say with that, we do not want to rely on an electric device to keep us properly warm. Okay, I think we probably all know that. But this really helps to warm me back up and in case maybe things kind of get out of, out of control briefly. When I went to Colorado this last trip, this little guy was really in its element. It snowed a little bit. There was some sleet and some drizzle. And I woke up and this dude had been crawling around. It hung on some stuff that was near the tent and I found it hanging out with some of my other things like my knives and my ax. So uh, it likes to be in the mountains. It likes to be in those kind of conditions, but it does work in the city. I've used it like that too for little outings. I usually have this in the car during the winter just in case I go someplace with friends and I don't have my gloves, or if someone else didn't bring their stuff and they're getting kind of cold, you can be the hero. Make sure the thing's charged up and make sure you get it back, but loan it to them. If you've got a, definitely if there's a kid, you know, little kids with their hands cold, they get cold fast. Let them hold on to this, let them put it in their jacket, they will be toasty. This can really be a, a game changer in the city also. It doesn't need to be in the mountains, but it really likes it up there. So I'm keeping it. I did a few experiments while I was out there and this is what I found out. On level one, which is the level I would I certainly use the most, I got about a little over eight hours of warming time. And on level two, I got about four hours and 23 minutes. And I didn't test the limits on level three because I rarely ever used level three. Um, but the manufacturer says that you can get 15 up to 15 hours and, and I didn't get anything like that. And so I sent them an email checking to see if the warmer has a, like a type of thermostat. Does it, when you have it on a certain level, like one, is it trying to stay at a particular temperature or is it putting a certain amount of energy out no matter what? Same with level two and level three, but I haven't heard back yet, but that would make a difference if it's really cold and you're on level one and it's trying to keep the hand warmer, even at that lower temperature, whatever that is, it would use more energy. 
and, and same with level two and level three. And, and when I use this, I'm usually in some pretty cold environments. So if, if it's like that, that would make sense of why I wouldn't quite get 15 hours. But other than that, I'm not sure why it would be such a difference. So I'm, I'll let you know if I hear back from them. But eight hours and a little over eight hours, actually, that's, that's pretty good, I thought. As far as charging goes, as far as using this as a battery bank, I got 1.7 charges of my iPhone 12. So when I was charging it, I was actually using the phone a little bit. Like I would talk on it every now and then and I would use the Bluetooth for music. And the phone was being used a little. And I feel like, and I, and I haven't done this one um, because every time I've done it, I was using it a little bit. Uh, but it might would get charging the phone two times. So that's something I really like about it as well, is that it can phone up, uh, charge up the phones and certainly like a little small GPS. So my overall impressions, I, I love it. Okay, I love this thing. It, it, it's, it, it really increases my comfort to a, a nice amount for something I don't like, which is being cold. I don't like being exceptionally cold. So I really like it as far as a hand warmer. Um, the quality seems really good. Uh, I've used this quite a bit and it still looks like it's in great shape. Uh, I like the simple features. I like the little covers on it to keep things clean and neat. Um, I like that it charges on both sides. I mean that it warms on both sides. It comes with this nice little cloth case and it comes with this little charger, uh, USB-C or uh, USB-C, does that sound right? Oh my goodness, I don't know the different charging ports, but uh, it's the smaller one is what charges this up. But for uh, the output, it's a regular USB like that. So as a charger, I like it. To get one and a half, 1.7 times of charging my phone, that's pretty good. But if I wanted something specifically for charging devices or phone in particular, I think for the weight and size, you're better off getting a battery bank specific to that. But those battery banks aren't gonna, char aren't gonna warm your hands. So I think it's a nice in between. I like my gear to have more than one use, if at all possible. So this is still usable in the warmer months as a charger for some things and in the winter it's a great hand warmer so i i do recommend it all right that's going to wrap up this video of the okupa ip45 hand warmer and charger if you like the video please click the like button and if you'd like to see more videos like this and videos of how to help your trees if they're not doing well how to get them better subscribe to the channel and if you want to be notified when a new video comes out, click the little bell icon and you'll be notified. If you'd like to check the price on the hand warmer and if you're interested in possibly purchasing it, I have a link down below. So click that and that'll take you straight to it. If you'd like to hear my thoughts and see my review of what I think is the world's finest handheld compass, click this link right there and it'll take you right to it. Thank you again for watching the video and thank you for supporting my channel.